So we have a vein here. The vein's exposed along here. Takes a bit of a turn here. And we've previously exposed this, but it's all sloughed in now. So you can see the chlorite schist with quartz and sulfides. You can see the width of this is about 0.6 of a meter wide where it's exposed. Mostly pyrite, minor calcopyrite, and minor magnetite. So we're going to hammer a few samples off, take a sample from here. Take a look at these. Calcopyrite. Pyrite, magnetite, and calcopyrite. And again, take a look at this. This black in here is all magnetite. Then you have pyrite all throughout and minor calcopyrite. More magnetite, pyrite, and calcopyrite. A lot of nice samples coming out of this vein. Quartz has quite a bit of calcopyrite in it compared to your outside host rock with the sulfides. Another sample. And a few more, J2 just brought me horse pyrite up in here, calcopyrite right there. This is a piece from outside the vein area, still mineralized with coarse pyrite. More calcopyrite in the quartz. with pyrite. So some nice samples. And the interesting thing about this showing is if you check the strike and dip it's almost exact on two new vein shear hosted veins exactly like this and those are about 200 meters that way, 250 meters that way, uh, two and a half meters wide, and it's right on strike of this area here. Thought I'd show just some of the mineralization down over here too. So this continues through here, you can see the magnetite there. We had this exposed a little better before, but this is where everyone parks. And there's also mineralization exposed previously in the road here. You can see the sulfides. So that's this little showing here. And it is 0.6 meters wide from here where it's mineralized over to here 
exposed over a strike of 20 meters. So we got our sample. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.